Hello everyone! Uh, if you enjoy games of Mikhail Tal, Rashid Nejmeddinov and maybe Rudolf Spielmann, uh, then I definitely recommend you check out some games uh, by Dragoljub Velimirovic. Uh, this game was played in 1971. It was the year Velimirovic got his international master title. Only a year later, uh, in 1972, he got his uh, grandmaster title. And he was, a, he was a definitely a strong player. He won the Yugoslav Championship three times and uh, he competed in two interzonal tournaments. He never really uh, managed to qualify for the candidates, uh, but that doesn't really matter as uh, Velimirovic's legacy isn't in how many points he won or uh, uh, how solid games he played, it's in, it's in uh, the beauty of the games he played and uh, the magic uh, he created over the board. Uh, this game he's playing against the Croatian international master Vladimir Bukal and uh, he, he has the white pieces and it's a, it's a pretty amazing game. Uh, you'll see, and uh, the variation they play actually bears uh, the name of uh, Velimirovic, the Velimirovic attack. So let's see, uh, Velimirovic is white and he plays e4. We have c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c captures on d4, knight captures on d4, uh, knight to f6, uh, knight to c3, all standard, knight to c6, and now the Fisher favorite, bishop to c4, or the Sozen variation. Uh, we have e6, the Scheveningen. Uh, and bishop to e3. Uh, we have uh, bishop to e7, and now uh, the move that, uh, well, announces the Velimirovic attack, queen to e2, preparing queenside castle. Uh, we have a6, and now the queenside castle, and queen to c7, and bishop to b3. Uh, we have uh, castles by Bukal and g4, and now this announces a trademark Velimirovic move, uh, but you'll see what I mean. Uh, Bukal goes for knight to d7, not allowing g5 with tempo, and uh, now comes the Velimirovic move, knight to f5. And uh, Velimirovic played this uh, knight sacrifice so many times that, uh, well, this uh, move, I don't think if it officially uh, bears his name, but it definitely should. Uh, so what do you do with the knight here? Uh, well, you can't really just leave it there on f5, it's, uh, it's an extremely powerful piece if you just leave it there. Uh, so Bukal captures it. We have E captures on F5, and uh, well, you don't want to capture it with the G pawn, you know, to open up your G file. But uh, there is a better in-between move here: Knight to D5, uh, gaining this uh, beautiful D5 square for your knight, and also uh, this comes with a tempo on the queen. So Queen to D8, uh, and now G captures on F5, opening up the G file. And uh, okay, uh, Bukal is up a piece, and uh, he plays Knight to A5. He wants to exchange even more pieces and uh, especially this strong bishop on b3. Uh, Velimirovic goes for knight captures on e7, uh, queen captures on e7, and now bishop to d5, uh, preserving uh, the slight squared bishop. Uh, king to h8, unpinning, uh, rook h to g1, now assuming the open g file, and knight to f6. Uh, you can't preserve the light squared bishop anymore, uh, so Velimirovic gets uh, a another idea. Uh, he plays queen to f3. Uh, Bukal captures the bishop, of course, he wants to exchange pieces very much. Uh, knight captures on d5, rook captures on d5, uh, this comes with a tempo on this knight on a5, and knight to c4. Why not uh, go for more exchanges, uh, preparing to grab the bishop on e3. And uh, here, oh well, Velimirovic is still down a piece, which makes his uh, idea even more brilliant. He plays f6. Uh, we have uh, queen captures on f6, so forcing a trade of queens being a piece down, queen captures on f6, g captures on f6, and now bishop to d4. Uh, with a pretty straightforward idea, of course, of bishop captures on f6 with checkmate. So this has to be stopped, knight to e5, and f4, kicking the knight away. So knight, uh, knight goes to d7, only square to protect the f6. Uh, he can't go, really go to g4 because h3 win, wins the game immediately. Uh, so, uh, rook captures on d6, again with a pretty straightforward idea. Uh, the idea is uh, rook captures knight on d7 and then, well, the same idea, bishop captures uh, pawn on f6 with checkmate. Uh, and we have rook to g8. Now if uh, rook captures knight, rook captures rook with check. Uh, rook to d1, of course Velimirovic doesn't want to exchange rooks, and we have rook to e8. Now making room for the king on g8 and also attacking this e4 pawn. Uh, and the Velimirovic plays f5. 
and you'll see the idea of this f5 move which really uh, really makes you think how far Velimirovic uh, saw this game go uh, rook captures on e4 and rook to g1 again with the threat of knight of bishop of rook captures uh, on d7 and bishop captures on f6 and here we have h5 making room for the king on h7 and what do you play here well Velimirovic goes for rook to g5 and it doesn't seem that uh, this rook to g5, I mean, of course, you can't capture the rook, this pawn is pinned. And it doesn't really look like white has anything here. Uh, but this rook to g5 is actually a, a, a deep and, and a devious trap. And uh, the only way to avoid the trap is to play king to h7. Uh, but Bukal didn't see this. And uh, uh, he played rook to g4. Uh, but I just want to point out that you can't really uh, give up some material with rook captures on d4 You know just you know giving up some material to get back into the game uh, Because after rook captures on d4 uh, you get rook captures on h5 with check uh, king g6 and now rook captures on d4 And okay, it seems like Bukal still has a rook and uh, two pieces for the rook uh, But uh, it only seems like that because black can't really develop any of his pieces if he tries something like b5, he gets rook to g4 with check. King f8, rook h8, check. Uh, king uh, e7, and now rook to g8, attacking this bishop on c8. And after knight to b6, rook to d8, and, uh, well, you can't defend rook to e8, checkmate. You have to play something like bishop to d7, and uh, then rook captures on a8, knight captures and rook captures, and white is completely winning. So, okay, uh, now that we see that uh, this is uh, out of the question, uh, Bukal played rook to g4 and here uh, Velimirovic has a crushing attack uh, he plays rook captures on f6 and in this position well uh, black can simply resign the game because uh, he doesn't have anything to do uh, you can't capture this rook on f6 and you can't capture this rook on g5 if you capture the rook on g5 uh, you get rook to h6 with a double check from the rook and the bishop king to g8 only move and rook to h8 with checkmate and if after rook to f6 you try maybe capture this rook on f6 uh, you get bishop captures on f6 with check uh, king to h7 only move and now rook captures on h5 and now you see the beauty of this f5 move it's a guarding g6 the king can't go to g6 king has to go to g8 and now again rook to h8 checkmate so after rook to f6 uh, Bukal tried one more idea rook to g1 with check and this is a, a, a pretty a desperate attempt but you know you're still a piece up you do have to try something uh velimirovic can even capture the rook uh, capturing the rook is still completely winning for white uh, but velimirovic uh, ends the game in a brilliant fashion he plays king to d2 and uh, uh, still uh, black can't capture either of the rooks uh, he tries uh, rook to g2 with check uh, velimirovic just plays uh, the simple king to e3 and in this position, uh, Vladimir Bukal resigned the game as he doesn't have any more checks and, well, whatever he plays, he's getting checkmated in, in the next couple of moves. So yeah, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this game and for those of you who are only uh, hearing about Dragoljub Velimirovic for the first time, I suggest you check out some of his other games. Uh, I, will probably, I will probably show some of his other games as well. As uh, when I first started uh, learning about chess, I read, a, uh, read about him uh, in uh, some of the chess books, uh, chess books I had. And uh, like with Tal, I was uh, really fascinated with his style. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.